Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a second hard drive or upgrade your RAM on the Acer Aspire VX15 gaming laptop. This will work for any of the three iterations of the VX15. I have the 54VG version. The first thing you're going to want to do is contact Acer. They are giving complimentary kits for VX15 owners. This is the number, part number on it, 42GM1N2. Dot SV1. This is a hard drive caddy with screws for mounting the hard drive and mounting it to your main board and also a uh, cable that I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, you can fill out a form uh, Acer has set up for you and I'll have that link in the description below. So the caddy itself is very simple. It just will bolt straight down into the main board. You're going to need this cable, though this is a cable that has a proprietary port on the main board and then will hook up your drive straight to the cable. They give you eight screws, uh, four for mounting a drive into the caddy and then four for mounting it down into the main board itself. So the first thing that we're going to have to do here is we are going to have to obviously make sure that your laptop is unplugged and you're going to want to remove the top silver plate and then basically it's a hinge cover, uh, very simple to remove and I'll show you in just a second, you're gonna to wanna to just pull this off uh, to give you a, a little bit of area to start removing the bottom plate after we're done. You just push up on it and you'll see that there are tabs underneath uh, and once you push back on it, uh, it will uh, release on both sides. Sometimes you have to kind of maneuver to get a little bit more there. Uh, then you can fold down and pull it straight out and that's pretty much what the hinge plate looks like. You can put that to the side. Now you have room to uh, get inside the laptop once you remove the screws off the bottom. There are 14 of them. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get them all removed. You do have to remove every one of them. Uh, so it does take a little bit of time to unscrew them all. I will fast forward through that. I'm going to use a Phillips zero or a PH one screwdriver here, and I am going to undo all 14 of these screws. So I'll be back after that. Now that you have all the screws out, you're ready to remove the plate itself or the bottom cover itself. Now they suggest that you actually remove it from the back because there are clips in the back uh, that you can honestly uh, get last, but they suggest you do it first. I found it much easier to do it from the front. As you'll see, I'll struggle with the back here and I'll undo some of the clips, which will ultimately help me, uh, but I suggest starting in the front area and I'll show you why in just a second. I found moving it around to the front was much easier for me to get a fingernail or something in there. I wouldn't use anything metal. You're gonna mark up the plastic. You could use a spudger of some sort or something plastic, uh, maybe even a credit card or something like that. A debit card would work fine. Uh, just to get in there, you don't wanna mark the plastic up. Uh, once you release a few of the clips, and they are very, very strong clips. Uh, so although the build on the VX15 is all plastic, which is great for keeping the weight down. It's a very solid laptop as far as how it's put together. So they did a good job on construction on this. Unfortunately, it just takes a little bit of time and patience for you to get into this so that you can actually do the upgrade. So the upgrade ability is not as easy as it is on other laptops where you have a uh, kind of a door that you can just release. You unfortunately do have to take off this entire back panel here uh, by making sure that all the clips come undone. So it does take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience, but with both of those, you'll have it off in no time. It does take me about a minute or two here to kind of go around and make sure that all the clips are released. But once they are released, uh, I'll flip this down on its 
top and I will just release the final back ones. And the back ones, the back clips uh, were released pretty much already by uh, taking off that uh, shield that I had taken off before. Okay, so now that we have the back plate off, you've got your hard drive bay on the left hand side here. And it does have that port up at the top, which is a proprietary port for your data cable. And then on the right hand side, you've got access to two RAM slots, which are already filled with two eight gigabyte sticks. And on the left hand side, you'll have your M.2 drive. Access to your fans in case you want to clean those out at some point as well. So the first thing we're going to take a look at here, I think, will be the data cable and uh, how to set that into the main board so that that is in before we actually mount the hard drive into the caddy. You're going to want to have that data cable uh, kind of just there and ready to be plugged in. Uh, it's just a straight plug in. You're just going to want to make sure you don't force it. It will click in and you'll feel it click in and then you can just lay the SATA connection uh, right next to the battery. I have an SSD drive here. It's just a 240 gigabyte PNY drive uh, that we're going to use for this demonstration. And we are going to want to mount this to our caddy so that it can then be secured in the chassis of the laptop. So as you can see, when you line it up, it's going to go film side up. So it's going to, the film on the caddy is going to cover the top of your SSD drive. So that's one thing you're going to want to make sure of. And another thing you're going to want to make sure of is that connector side on the drive is facing up uh, so that you have kind of the shorter portion of the SATA drive towards you. And then it will just plug right in. So now we'll just take our screws that we got and I'll fast forward through that. You're going to want to screw four screws in to the side of the drive to mount the caddy to the drive. And then once you place it in the laptop, you'll take the last four screws and you'll plug those in to the main board. So I'll kind of fast forward through this a little bit. Now that we have our drive set in the caddy itself, you're going to want to hook up the data cable, which is a very simple thing. If you've ever hooked up a SATA drive, it just plugs right in. And then you're going to want to position the caddy so that we can put the final four screws in to mount it to the chassis. Okay, so now that we're all mounted and ready to go, your drive is now technically installed. You just have to reverse your steps here. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your back plate or bottom of the laptop, whatever you would like, and you're going to start kind of at the back and make sure that the clips line up in the back. That's where I started anyway, and it worked out really well. And then once you go around to the back, you just kind of go around to all the corners and make sure that all of the clips are reinserted where they need to be. They'll snap in very audibly and you'll hear them. And you'll just go around the laptop until they are all snapped in. The last step is obviously to reverse our work with all the screws. So we'll take those screws that we took out in the beginning and make sure that uh, we put all those back in and we should be done at that point. So I will fast forward through that and then I will check you guys out at the end.
There is one last thing that you're going to need to do. That is the hinge cover that we took off in the beginning of the video. You're gonna to have to reattach that. So you'll flip the laptop over with the Acer logo on the laptop facing you and then the hinge cover logo, which is the Aspire VX logo will be upside down and it will sit in these grooves here on the back. Uh, you'll see them right there. And once you sit those in, you'll just use downward pressure and forward pressure uh, so that the front of the hinge cover snaps into place. Now you will notice that when I do open this up, the right hand side did not snap all the way in. It's an easy fix for that though. You just have to close the lid and reposition it real quickly uh, so that you get them all snapped in there. So closing the lid down and just kind of pulling it up and making sure that it is lined up and snapped in and you're good to go. So that's how you add a second hard drive or access uh, any of the components on the inside of the Acer Aspire VX15 gaming laptop. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. Uh, remember to like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.